Welcome to Trotsky Baseball Recruiting Talk. In today's recruiting culture, college recruiters rely on prospect events to find the majority of their recruits. Since there are numerous college prospect events to choose from, how do you as a player know if you are attending the right event, and how do you avoid attending an event for the wrong reasons? Each year, aspiring high school athletes attend numerous prospect events in the pursuit of baseball scholarships, while many end up empty-handed. Now I'd like to talk to you about ways to avoid attending prospect events for the wrong reasons. I will do this by discussing the key components of a quality event and by addressing the important questions to ask yourself before attending. Eight components of a quality prospect event. Two notes to consider. Note one, not every quality event has all eight of these components. Note two, a prospect camp can be defined as any event that gives a player college or professional exposure. Component number one, a large number of colleges attending and diversity amongst them. College baseball is a numbers game, especially at the division one level. The higher up you go, the fewer roster spots available. In order for a player to up their odds and to create greater opportunity, we recommend attending prospect events with a large number of college recruiters. A large number of college recruiters is between 20 and 50. Diversity amongst the recruiters is also important because it too creates greater opportunity. This is important because the majority of high school players will not receive Division I baseball scholarships. There are exceptions to the rule. If you are specifically interested in a particular college, we suggest that you attend their prospect event, even if only one college is present, the college you're interested in. Component number two. The price is balanced with what's being offered. Most prospect events cost between $400 and $900. Within this wide range, be careful how much you spend per event, because on the average, a player needs to be seen by a college recruiter between three and five times before being offered a baseball scholarship. It is also important to note that some of the most expensive prospect events don't necessarily offer more, and at times, they offer less. Regardless of the event, view the price in context with what the camp offers. Component 3. Relationships develop between players, parents, and college coaches. At college prospect camps, and at specific prospect events where the college coaches are hired to attend, it is NCAA compliant for college coaches to meet and talk with the attending players and parents. FaceTime is huge. It puts a face with a name. It gives a player a feel for the coach's personality and coaching style. It creates a bond and develops relationship. All essential ingredients to a successful recruiting process. Component number four. Recruiting specialists teach the recruiting process and are available to answer questions. For the most part, when it comes to college baseball and to the recruiting process, parents and players feel as if they are on the outside looking in. This is because their knowledge is limited, because it is difficult to get answers to their questions, and because accurate information and reliable resources are hard to come by. With critical decisions on hand, being on the outside is not a comfortable place to be. It is important to note that there are a lot of exaggerated recruiting stories and myths that are believed and taught as fact. Learning the recruiting process from an expert is essential and a sure way to avoid from being misled. Component 5. They take place on one field, keeping the college coaches together. Many prospect events utilize multiple fields, spreading the college recruiters thin. For example, if two fields are used for an event and 10 recruiters are attending, only five will be present per field. On the other hand, using one field makes each player accessible to all the attending college recruiters, allowing for the most productive experience possible. Component number six, high number of game repetitions. With many prospect events, participants play in just one game. Batters receive minimal at-bats and pitchers receive a minimal number of batters faced, oftentimes with a 1-1 count. With the peaks and valleys of baseball, prospect events that provide multiple games give players the opportunity to make important adjustments necessary to show an accurate representation of their game. Component number seven, high number of overall repetitions. Low overall repetitions is common amongst prospect events. Receiving minimal repetitions results in a considerable amount of time standing around, as well as a limited amount of exposure for each individual player. In order for a player to get loose, to get the nerves out, and to show an accurate representation of their game, a high number of repetitions is crucial. Component number eight, guaranteed attendance. When college coaches are paid to work at camp, the organization hiring them can legally advertise and guarantee they'll be attending. The hiring organization can also monitor the coaches, keeping them from coming and going as they please. At events where college coaches are not paid to attend, they come and go at will. 
I've seen it countless times where the college recruiter goes out to lunch or arrives to an event late and misses a player's key hit or an impressive inning pitched. To use time productively and to spend money wisely, ask the following questions before you consider attending an event. Number one, why do I want to attend this specific event? Number two, am I attending for the purpose of seeking exposure, fundamental training, repetitions, a combination of the three, and or for some other reason? Number three, what colleges are going to be there? Number four, is there enough colleges attending that are a good fit for me academically, financially, athletically, socially? Number five, how does this event compare to the others? Number six, does this event make sense financially? Number seven, am I prepared for this event? Number eight, is this a quality event? Refer to the eight principles we've discussed earlier. With the information observed today, it's evident that it's extremely important to do your homework and to know your personal needs before registering for a prospect event. And remember, in order to excel at the college level, make it your goal to continue to improve in the classroom and in every area of your game. College baseball isn't for everyone, but rather for the disciplined student athlete that is willing to work hard and to make sacrifices. We look forward to seeing you again between the lines. Enjoy the game. Thank you for listening to Trotsky Baseball Recruiting Talk Series. For more information, go to TrotskyBaseball.com.